Hey there, it's Sadie from allnaturalme.com. Welcome to this month's Patch Tarot reading for the month of June 2018. So what an interesting card pool. Um, you may have noticed the expression on my face when I pulled the first card. I wish I would have done this during the daylight now. Now I have this big old light to compete with. Um, so the first card, the present, was the death card. So that's why I was like, what? Right? Like everybody does that face whenever they pull the death card, especially when it's the present. But doesn't that make sense? If you've been going through a lot of um, kind of rebirth and transition type of energy, it's like, yo, it is time to let go. So we're gonna look into more of that. It is for transition. The challenge is the nine of wands, lethargy. <laughs> pretty much my middle name today. I didn't even realize it was June until halfway through the day. It just really has taken a lot to get going. So that's kind of interesting that the nine of wands would be the challenge. So the past is the six of cups, which was super interesting because last month, um, I was like, didn't we have the six of cups? I looked back at my notes. The six of cups was the present last month. And now jokingly, it's back again saying, yep. And now I'm the past. So joys in the past, but what's for the future? The star, which is faith. Yeah, sorry about the light. Let me hold her up. She's gorgeous. We have faith for our future. As we move forward, um, the star reminds me that it's going to be our trust in the universe, our faith that, that holds us tight. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about these, but just to show you as above is the light. Reveal. And so below, we have the Five of Swords conflict. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, the internal advice is King of Wands. We had him last month as our hopes and fears. Now the King of Wands is coming through as our internal advice. The external influence is Ten of Cups. Thrive. It's time to live our lives the way we envision together in harmony. This is the external advice. Then we've got our hopes and fears for June is the Seven of Swords. Strife right? And that's true. What do we worry about? Things are going to be hard. We need a backup plan. I guess. No, we don't. And then the Hierophant is the final outcome with spirituality. So, um, amazing. Divine Mother. Perfect. Okay, so let's take a little closer look at um, at our reading for June. I really sat with these cards for a long time and um, read the little, the book, the Patch Tarot book, and came to some a really coherent reading, actually. I'm just super impressed with this deck um, every month that I use it. So check out Death. My husband's gonna be super stoked um, that I finally pulled the death card. He always wants me to pull the death card, but does he realize that death is so beautiful? Um, look at these butterfly wings. And we have some spirits um, going up into the heavens, and we have some spirits returning back down to earth for another go at it, I suppose. Um, so here's what I gathered from death. It means transition. You are transitioning into a new you. So once again, stop resisting the changes. I say once again because we've gotten that message um, with my daily card pulls. Stop resisting the changes happening within and around you. It is time to go with the flow as you raise in vibration. Now it's your, it's your free will. 
I mean, if you want to raise in vibration or not, but I'm going to just assume that you do. So this was our present card. Okay. Then our challenge was the nine of wands. All right. So our challenge is a nine of wands. So we've got the nine of wands as our challenge. Um, totally cracks me up. It's endurance, but I love this image. Um, here's just this like warrior coming at you with all this kind of justice and fury and just amazing. Um, but the message is, can you stay committed to your spiritual practice? Right? Even if you're feeling a little tired, can you keep on? Your faith can give you the strength to continue even if you feel tired. So a message, um, remember to go within, gather that energy from source, and direct your loving intentions at what you desire. And of course, a message to keep going. Okay, so then um, what was cool about the past card, the Six of Cups, um, <clears throat> this was our present last month, now it's coming through to say, hey, now this is the past. I just am tickled to see that. <clears throat> so you've been staying in your heart space and nurturing what you love. All the love that you have given is being reciprocated back to you sevenfold. So this is a great past card. Kind of says to me like, yeah, all the beauty um, all the relationships we've invested in, right? All the joy that we made it a point to nurture is now going to be returned to us. So this, the future then is the star. And um, I really want you to have a look at her. She's amazing, right? With faith. She's bringing in that energy from source and grounding it into Gaia. I just love her so much, a star. So the star with the future, a huge, big, big, big message to connect with your faith at the highest level. Connect with your faith like you've never connected with your faith before, knowing that your dreams and wishes will, for sure, will manifest, stay guided by the light, stay guided by the light, which is really amazing because the as above card is the light. See the coherence of this month's message? I just, I'm like amazed, a tickled, tickled, right? So the light as above, spirit is always with you. We don't understand it. <laughs> Please, we don't have a clue how big it is, but spirit is always with us. Um, this to me is a message that the veils are becoming thinner, revealing more of our true spirit nature. So all is known in the infinite. And to me, that says that everything has a solution, right? Because all is known is in the infinite. So anything that was, we got going on in our life, there's a solution for so that's as above, and so below is the Five of Swords. So this is definitely like an, you know, if you've been still feeling the remnants of 3D and conflict and finding yourself in little, like, glitches or maybe big, big things, um, this is a message to be careful of entering into battle. For all conflicts have karmic effects. Right? No one really actually wins in a war. So to me, this says before applying justice to those who have wronged you or, you know, those on the other side, opposing side that, that disagree, ask yourself, is this in alignment with who I truly am? So that I clearly related to um, this patch. And it's like looking at these peop these perps and <laughs> these people who have done wrong and these pedos or whatever. Before I swing my sword and take them out, 
before I apply what I think is justice, I need to ask myself, is this in alignment with who I truly am, right? Because this is the wrath card too, right? There's this huge tsunami come in, like we're all going down. <laughs> we're all gonna go down, but you know, it's gonna be my karma that I have to deal with afterwards and same for you. So that's why I just really felt like it's like, ask yourself, is this in alignment with who you truly are, okay? Because Dang, that's just what's going on. All right, moving on to the internal advice. Look who we got again, King of Wands, right? Oh man, with a message, don't be reckless. So coming off of that, like make sure you question your alignment before you act, even if you know it's something that you feel like you should do, make sure it really is truly in alignment. Don't be reckless, okay, with this internal advice. Direct your strength and passion to carry out your spiritual duty. Align your actions to your will. Okay? Um, make sure before you make that quick action on your electric course, isn't that awesome? Like, make sure it's really in alignment and um, stay focused. So the external influence is beautiful. And I was like, why does that look so familiar? That's on the back of the box. Cool, huh? All right, so our external influence is Thrive, the Ten of Cups. And it's a message for us to enjoy the life that we have created now, right? We have manifested all this beautiful, good, good stuff. Enjoy it. Enjoy the life you have manifested. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy the beautiful things around you. Act alive. Act alive and thrive. That's what it told me. Enjoy the now moment and welcome in um, some new adventures with that dragon coming in. So welcome in some new adventures together. Okay, be grateful. Let's be grateful for these close relationships, these connections. And let's really appreciate all this harmony that we have with each other right now. Allow gratitude to fill your head and your heart space. And do not worry of potential hardships, which brings us into our hopes and fears, strife. Don't worry about what may go wrong. Yeah, like all the time we just stress out about stuff that isn't even possibly gonna happen. So just a message to not worry of, of potential hardships. So this seven of swords then for our um, fears, our hopes and fears. The message is um, to stay strong, okay? Here you are walking the path of light, totally got all these weaker ones against you, right? Stay strong. You, in alignment, are more powerful than all of these guys who aren't really in alignment. So the message to me is stay strong. You can endure. You will, pre you will prevail. You will prevail of the lies and deceit of others. Okay, and that's some of what we're seeing in our reality right now. These people are not going to get away with their deceptions. They will be held accountable. So um, just stay strong. All right, so then um, the final outcome, right, as we bring out all of these, what do you want to say? <laughs> it's all about, like, um, for me this week, like the people that are pushing their agenda against humanity, their crimes against our children, right? Crimes against the earth. You just keep hanging, ho holding on to what you know to be true, the truth, and you will prevail. All right, so the final outcome is the Hierophant with spirituality. Remember, you are your own guru, so learn from within. And remember, we are all one 
So learn from each other. Um, this is a message to live your life now according to the new earth you are creating. Like you don't need to wait for any cattle, like big old shift. Like what are you waiting for? Just start living the life that you envision now. The life that you're creating, start living it now. Stay in alignment with your higher self and stay in harmony with all. So to me, our final outcome is a message to keep learning, keep teaching, and keep shining your light.